Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how to use the realestate.com.au app on your phone. So first off, we need to download the app. I'm going to head to the app store on my phone and in the search bar, I'm going to type in real estate. It should pop up there, which it has. I'm gonna click on that and then we want to install it on our phone. So I'm gonna click that little cloud symbol and it is now installing. So while the app's installing, there's a few things to consider when you're looking at rental properties. The first thing is, where do you want to live? That is what suburb. Second thing, how many bedrooms and bathrooms do you want? With regards to the number of bedrooms or number of people in a house, the rule of thumb is no more than two people per bedroom. For example, a family of seven would require a four bedroom house. Are you looking at a single or double story home? Fourth, what's your budget? Your budget should be about 30 to 40% of your weekly net income. For example, if you receive 1200 in your bank account, your budget would be 360 to 480 per week in rent. And lastly, consider whether the property you're looking at is close to public transport, schools and hospitals. Okay, so now the app has installed, so we're gonna open it by clicking the open button. And it's brought up the main page here. So in that search bar is where you can enter in a suburb, postcode, um, or address of a rental property you are looking at. So for example, we might enter in Woodridge. And then you have a few options here. If you wanna include the surrounding suburbs, you can leave that on. Uh, and then when you're finished, you're going to click the done button. And here we can narrow down our search. So we want to look at rental properties. You can narrow down by property type. For example, if you're looking at an apartment or you're looking at a house. You can also narrow down by the rental price per week here. Um, bedrooms, you can narrow down by the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, car spaces. So there's heaps of options here. Then when you're ready, you click the red search icon. Okay, and here it has now brought up a range of properties that match uh, my search. So you can see here. If you wanna click on any um, properties to have a bit more of a look, all you do is just tap on it. And you can see here, you can scroll across to have a look through all the photos. You can also go down here and it gives you a bit of an overview of the property. So what, what's, what are the property features? You can also book an inspection directly here by clicking the book an inspection button. So it's a really good app. You can do a lot of things through it. The last feature I wanted to show you is the map feature, which is in the top right hand corner. And you can see here it's brought up uh, lots of different properties within the selected area. So that's another really cool feature. If I wanted to look at any of them, I can just hit on those red dots on the map there and it's brought up. The rental property to look at. Again, if you want to have a closer look, you tap on it again. And here it's brought up a description and photos of the property. So it's a nice and handy app to use. So just don't forget when you are looking at um, a property, consider the availability date of that property. Best practice is that your new lease will not start any more than one week prior to your old lease finishing up. This will give you that week period where you can move house and then go back into your old house to clean and, and tidy up the garden to ensure that you get a full bond refund. And don't forget, you also need to give the agent minimum two weeks notice once you have received written approval of a new lease. 
Okay, I hope this video has been helpful to you. We have also created a video on using realestate.com on the website. So if you're better on a computer, go check out that video. And also keep an eye out for our next housing video where we give you our top tips on a successful rental application. Okay, everyone, bye for now.